Hey, good morning you guys, Christopheles here, and today we are going to be talking about a bit of a big topic going on right now that hits very close to home for me personally because I grew up with three pit bulls. Now, if you are completely against pit bulls or don't like them, you don't need to watch this video. This is more for people that like pit bulls and are trying to learn more about what's going on and more just my opinion on the whole thing. Um, so recently, Montreal, Canada put a ban on pit bulls due to a woman back in June getting attacked by a pit bull, I'm assuming, and dying recently. She passed, which is very unfortunate that she passed away and her family lost her and stuff, but what people don't understand is that it's not ever the dog's fault. In reality, yes, the bite is from the dog, the death is resulting from the dog's bite and everything, but the dog doesn't, dogs just aren't born evil or mean, they're not born aggressive or vicious. Pit bulls especially, to me, I consider one of the nicest, sweetest breeds I've ever had the, you know, pleasure of knowing. I grew up with three, Cyrus, Annie, and Max. All three were great dogs. Um, for example, when we first got Annie, we also had a Dalmatian named Sadie, and she had come from a home where the family allowed their kids to throw rocks at her and just harm her heavily. And so when we got her, Dalmatians are considered a family dog. I have nothing against any breed of dogs at all. I love all dog breeds. I don't care, you know, any experience I've had. But Sadie specifically was very aggressive, very vicious, but... I have a friend who's has a Dalmatian, or who had a Dalmatian. She just recently passed away. I'm sorry, really sorry, Nick. She was a really sweet dog the few times that I met her. And she wasn't a mean dog. She wasn't aggressive. Nothing. She was a great dog. So it all depends on the owner and the people who raise them. I can't stress it enough. I can't point it out enough. And I know so many people that hate certain breeds of dogs based off this when it's not the dog, it is the owner. I can't stress it enough. It doesn't matter. My two dogs here, I have a Chihuahua a few feet away from me and a miniature Australian Shepherd right behind me. Mini! Both of them went to good homes. Both of them are sweet dogs. They're so loving. Minnie will bark and stuff at strangers, but it's only because she's weird around strangers. If they had gone to a different home that was not a good home for any animal, they could have been the most aggressive, mean dogs, they could have caused a lot of dog attacks. It all depends on how you raise your dogs and who raises them, who takes care of them. And... Every pit bull I've ever met, none of them have ever been aggressive, mean, nothing. I've never met an aggressive pit bull. There's very few and far in between. Um, but back to the main subject. Um, I have a lot of articles here on my phone that I'm going to read to you, some websites. I'm not going to name some of the websites because one of them is specifically against banning pit bulls. Because I looked up the ban on pit bulls because I was curious more on the news articles and what they're saying and what's going on so I get all my facts straight. <sighs> Guys, this video isn't going to be very happy, um, not very cheerful, kind of, it's a more serious aspect video on what's going on. Um, my personal opinion is that no dog deserved to be banned. None. If anything, people that owned that aggressive dog should have been put on a list not to own dogs anymore. And it's just how it is. 
I just, certain people shouldn't own dogs. There's a lot of people that shouldn't own animals in general, but they do. And this happened to be one of the cases where a very aggressive dog attacked somebody and caused harm and it happened to be a pit bull. And someone decided to go all the way in to try and ban the breed. I'm not sure who, but it just happened. So, the first website is completely wanting to ban pit bulls. Like, completely against them. It, they don't like them. Um, they give facts, apparently, that are accurate, which in my personal experience and my research, because I did a lot of essays in high school, none of these facts are accurate whatsoever because you don't hear about it as often. More people are attacked and hurt by golden retrievers and labs than pit bulls. It is a fact. But I'm not saying that those dogs need to be banned or those dogs or are naturally aggressive. They're not. Again, depends on how you raise the animal. Okay? It all depends. Fatal and disfiguring pit bull attacks have increased 830% in seven years. Really? 800? Really? That's not a normal percentage, for one. You sound dumb. And I haven't heard of barely any pit bull attacks over the last seven years. I've heard of maybe one or two. That's it. I've heard more about, like, pigs and cows and shit killing people. I've heard more about people getting hurt by, like, wild cats and shit. Really? Sorry, I get very irritated by ignorance. In the last four months of 2015, mind you, I never heard of any in the fo last four months of 2015, pit bulls killed the same number of people as Dobermans killed in 60 years. What? Um... The majority of pit bull attacks are unprovoked. These people just don't like them. They just... They don't. So this site is apparently in memory of a child that was killed in an unprovoked attack by her own pit bull in 2014. I heard nothing about this. And in 2014, I was doing a lot of research on these things. Um, I'm done with that site entirely. Um, just, I can't. So, exciting news about this pit bull thing. Montreal pit bull ban was put on hold as of a few days ago. A Quebec judge has placed a temporary pause on Montreal's con controversial pit bull ban. The ban is now on hold until Wednesday. It was passed by the city council last week and came into effect on Monday amid an outcry by animal welfare groups and threats to boycott the city over the law. The delay is a short-term win. Um, so as of Wednesday, so this was posted October 4th. So I'm assuming this Wednesday it's already been put back. Um in the thing, in activeness. And one day ago, 
One day ago, guys, I, I didn't hear about this until just now. Montreal's pit bull ban gets suspended indefinitely. Pit bulls or any stocky dogs with big heads for that matter won't be banned in Montreal, Canada anytime soon. A judge decided on Wednesday that it would, should be suspended for the duration of the Montreal SPA, SPCA's legal challenge. The fight is far from being over, but we are very pleased with this first victory. Now I'm going to show you adorable pictures from the site of these pit bulls. Look at these sweet dogs. Alright, this is the general idea of what kind of dogs they're thinking of banning. Then there's one with a little piggy. This, by the way, is all on um, from the website, The Positive Pit Bull, and it is on the Dodo for the Love of Animals site. Um, great site. I've actually followed them on Facebook. They're awesome. In general, it's a really great site. It gives a lot of cute animal videos every day and everything, but basically what I want to try and do and what you guys should all try to do, especially if you're a big dog person, you love dogs, if you've never been around a pit bull, go to a dog park, bring your dog there, you'll probably see a couple pit bulls. Go to an animal shelter and look at some pit bulls, you know, really just get to know the breed before you jump to the conclusion they're, they're a bad dog. They're great dogs. They're wonderful. Do your research too on these facts and these dogs. They're great dogs. This video is more of my way of just kind of trying to raise a bit of awareness on pit bulls and talk about the bigger issues with them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make this into like a series on here where I talk about different animals and issues with those and different stuff like that. I might, might not, I don't know. If you guys like this video, leave a like, a comment, share the video with your friends about this so they can learn the exciting news that Montreal is not banning pit bulls anytime soon. It's really exciting, really happy about that. Um, you know, it's just a great thing. Um, I might make a second video to this, I don't know. If you do like it, leave a like, like I said, leave a comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Anyways, stay positive, stay smiling, and I will see all you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.